Okay. I think we are live. I think we're good. Can everybody see me and can everybody hear me? Austin, what's up? So, college football game's about to start, and the baseball game's about to start, so we're going to have a very busy day. Ugh. <sighs> This is not going to be easy, guys. I'm going to do the best that I can. But I am certainly aware of the fact. Yeah, I didn't have much to say about the game, Austin. This is not a good team we're playing. I don't know what to say about it other than we're going to find out if we can play a little bit better out better on the road. Blue Jays. It's in the title of the stream, right? It's in the title of the video. Sean K. Okay, we're going to start on the Mariners game because it looks like they're actually getting started first. First pitch. Little low. Oh my god. Tampa didn't score. This game's going to go forever. Yeah, David. I saw that. Julio, that's going to be a fly out to right field. That was a pretty good pitch to maybe turn on. A little late. Who's pitching for the Mets today? Grom, okay. France, ooh, we got ourselves an error on. Is that Bichette? No, Esco Escobar. Yeah, that's yeah, that's an error. <laughs> Thank God, too. That was about to be two outs on three pitches. Hit the dub like Wiz Khalifa. Right guy, because I was watching the game. I was working yesterday.
Not that I got a ton of work done, if I'm being perfectly honest, but I'm not going to stream. Ugh. Man, Gaussman had a nice year. I didn't realize how good he was. Outside, ball one to Eugenio. Sorry that you guys can hear my keyboard, by the way. Actually, you know what? One second, guys. Okay, I think you guys can still... Okay, I think you guys can still hear me, but you won't be able to hear the... Uh, mic. You won't be able to hear my typing as much. In the dirt, 2-2. Two, two. Sean K, not a very realistic one. Oh, he chased. Looks like Washington's going to get the ball to start. Yeah, Dodgers or Braves win the World Series. I don't know who. Ah, he got the call in the corner. Yesterday's strike zone was giant, man. I'm hoping it's a little bit more manageable today. Little high, ball one. But ball, ball two, excuse me. And ESPN is not doing a good job updating me on the Husky score. I guess the game hasn't started yet to be... If ESPN is to be trusted... Oh, no, wait, no, we have the ball. We were actually in ASU territory. All right, cool. ESPN's just being really, really crappy about updates. Wow. Shockingly crappy. If he's already getting work done on his body, then he's really toast. Wow. Tell me, you two. Yeah, Cal's putting together some good at-bats lately, man. And he's going to get on. Okay, who's up now? It's not Frazier yet. Uh, shoot. Oh, it's...
it's Hanniger. Okay. I mean, I'm not against it. ESPN still not telling me anything about the damn Huskies, even though the game has clearly started. Oh, we've got the ball first and 10 at the 12. Incomplete. Husky's about to go in. Going to get some kind of points here. In the dirt. Ugh. Yeah, I saw that. I know Frazier's in the six hole. Which is why I don't want Mitch to draw a walk here. <coughs> Sorry, I just don't want Frazier at bat with the bases loaded and two outs. That sounds like a recipe for heartbreak. Caught the corner. That's a great pitch. Well, we know Russ is not going to miss games. We know Russ is not going to miss games with this injury. That's not how he does things. So uh, I guess he's just going to tough it out. This this could get ugly. This could get real ugly. In the dirt. 2-2 two, two count. First and goal from the one for Washington, by the way. This is going to be a difficult balancing act today. What's Gaussman at? 18 pitches? That's pretty good. Touchdown, Penix. Washington starts the game with a nice and easy touchdown drive. Ah, he chased. All right. Got him to throw some pitches, but no dice. And Washington gets off to a 7-0 start on Arizona State. Okay, the Pac-12 network is not loading for me all of a sudden. So that would make it hard for me to watch the Huskies game, because that's the channel that it's on. So that's cool. Xfinity coming in super clutch right now. Wow. Pac-12 network is not working. Uh, super cool. Hi, Donnie. Uh, all right. Springer coming up to the plate. I guess I'll keep it here because Pac-12 Network is not working.
keep an eye on the Washington game on the ESPN tracker, but that's all I can do. Swing and a miss on a pitch a little bit low for Robbie. Swing and a miss. Did Springer go swing and a miss three times? Yeah, he did, didn't he? One, two, three, strike you're out. One, two, three, strike you're out. One, two, three, strike you're out. Man, Toronto swung at five straight pitches. So if I'm Robbie Ray, I might just put everything in the dirt for the whole rest of the game and see if they keep swinging. If they're just going to keep hacking away, don't give them nothing to hit. Hey, Donnie. Did Kansas lose? I saw the game was close. I didn't know they lost. Wow. Uh, good start for the Washington D. Looks like a loss of one. <clears throat> Finally, they don't swing. Bo Bichette leaves the bat on his shoulder. All right, swing and a miss. Good pitch. Ray's off to a good start, man. So far, so good. Arizona State's moving the ball a little bit here, but they've got third and seven. I read a story that Arizona State was literally throwing games to try to get Herm Edwards fired. I wonder if it's true. Apparently, their players were, like, tipping off the other team on their game plans. I hope it's true. That's hysterical. First down, Arizona State. 
defense looking a little leaky, but uh, still not. Um, oh, they just crossed midfield, actually. Ground ball, Frazier, no problem. Three up, three down for Robbie. So far, so good. We just have to avoid the bad inning. Ooh, Pac-12 Network's back on. And Arizona State, I think they have third and short. Yeah, third and one. Hand off up the middle. I think he barely got it. Very close, though. Thank you, Scott. Oh, it looks like a... No. He's got all day in the pocket, but he's going to check it down for about four yards. I think that's ZTF on a tackle. Uh-oh, flag. Is this helmet to helmet? It's not helmet to helmet. He hit him in the shoulder. Oh, God. If if we lose ZTF here, this is a problem. This is a very big problem if we lose ZTF here. Oh, thank you, Scott. I appreciate that. And, you know, you got to not be so wishy-washy, man. It was like a month and a half ago you were in here yelling at people who thought Gino was competent and you were calling him the worst quarterback in the league and you were saying Jimmy Garoppolo is ten times better than him. Like You don't have to move your position that much after a month of football. You don't. You can just be along for the ride and see where things land. This is a silly conversation. Do you want to marry yourself to a second round exit every year at best? Because that's probably what you get from Gino. Okay, I think ZTF's okay. All right, cool. No ejection. No penalty, too, actually. I guess they picked the flag up. Frazier lined out to shortstop. I want to see this drive. I want to see if we can get off the field here or not. Uh, decent carry. Going to be third and two, maybe.
And off up the middle. Ooh, I think he's a little short. Yeah, he is. I imagine they go for it. Yeah, they're going for it. Big play. Hand off, flag. I think he got it, and I think it's offsides on the defense anyway, so. Yeah, Arizona State's moving. They're well in field goal range now. Oh, illegal formation on the offense. Bring it back. We might have a field goal try now. Let's go. Bottom of the 13th in the Cleveland game, by the way. I think Santana struck out. I want Kelnick to get on so Crawford gets an at-bat, and then we can go back to Julio at the top of the order. I'm kind of hoping for that. Yeah, they're kicking a field goal. Fifty-three yards. He's got the angle. Wow, he nails it. Okay, seven to three Huskies. Good field goal kick. The only way we can draft AR is if Gino comes back for like a one-year or two-year deal, which I think is super unlikely. I don't know why he would do that. AR is not going to be ready for a year, if not two, so unless you're willing to throw away another year, it's not happening. Oh my god, Jesus Christ, my fucking neck. Oh, god damn it, dude. Oh, holy shit. I need to go get ibuprofen or something next opportunity. I did not realize how much my neck still hurt. Kelnick strike out. I think he struck out the side there, so uh yep. He he's on too. He's on too. The good news is if this comes down to a battle of the bullpens, we have an advantage. Because we didn't use anybody except Munoz yesterday and they used pretty much everyone. Oh, Frazier lined out, okay. No, no, Daniel, I slept on my neck funny. The uh, Two nights ago, I slept on it funny. I woke up and it was just agonizing. This isn't just something from sitting at my computer. This is like something weird happened when I was in bed. I've wondered before if the my pillow pillows are any good. I see 8 million commercials for them and I've thought before like I wonder if those are actually any good. Yeah, I'll try that in a second here. A 
Okay, kickoff, touchback. Life is good. Crowd's got two touchdown passes already. All right. Uh oh, okay, foul ball. Alejandro Kirk. Alejandro. Got him to chase high, but stays alive. Dylan Gabriel don't play defense, so. He looks like... Remember that create a player in Madden that John Boyce made? What was his name? The guy who went to DeVry University? Oh, Beef Tank. He's like IRL Beef Tank. This guy is literally IRL beef tank. Oh, well, he's getting on base. It's not easy for this guy to get to second base, but I think he's going to do it. Not ideal. I mean, I guess that feels like a throwaway, though. That really feels like you're just throwing it away, though, because I don't think Drew Locke is good. I wanted to believe in him, but he doesn't have the triggers in his brain that you need to avoid turnovers. Uh... All right, Washington with the ball, seven-yard completion to Odunzi. Daniel, you we get a third rounder if he leaves and signs a big contract with a compensatory pick. So you don't even need to trade him to do that if he signs a big deal. The only difference is I guess you'd have to wait an extra year for the pick. But the compensatory pick thing is pretty lucrative. God, if you tag him and then you can't trade him, though, you're left holding a bag because there's no way Geno's worth top five QB money. First down, Washington. Oh, crap. 
Oh, boy. Well, all right. Well, we're going to have to score at least some runs in this game, I guess. He got to two strikes on both of them, I think. Uh, all right. Yeah, I know about the Draymond Green thing. Third and two for Washington. Hand off up the middle. Oh, no, he bounces it outside and gets it. Four yards. Four yards! Penix looks much better this week, at least. We can say that. Penix is hitting his throws, so... Last week looks like maybe the moment was just a little too big for him. Another run up the gut for, like, two or three. Oh, boy. Drops back, fires it, left sideline caught, nice and easy, first down. Down to the 35, approaching field goal range, but planning for much more. Hopefully Ray doesn't give up another run. I like Ray, and I'm rooting for him. And I know that if he gives up 3-plus in this game, Mariners fans are going to turn on him so quickly. If he only gives up two runs in, like, six innings or whatever, you can't say it was his fault. First down, Huskies, inside the 25. How many games has uh, the, have the Cougars lost so far this year? One? Okay, so we have one loss, they have one loss. Okay, end of the first quarter, 7-3. to three. We're moving. Yeah. We need to get Gaussman out of the game. If we can't score on him, we got to get him out. Face this tired bullpen. So you don't give up nothing to Guerrero. You don't give up nothing to Bichette. But Hernandez gets to you. That's icky. Icky. No, I think the Warriors are actually probably really happy about this. They couldn't afford to keep all these guys together anyway. Now they can just get Draymond out of there and <clears throat> maintain some... <clears throat> uh, cap, maintain some cap. Oh, boy. Well, at least that wasn't Winker. Winker would have allowed a double. Kelnick only allows a single. So, that's okay. I can live with that. Settle down, Ray. Settle down. Winker would have allowed a double. Kelnick gives up a single, so Kelnick's already paying dividends. At least that's how I'm looking at it. <laughs> I wonder if they could sucker the Trailblazers into taking Draymond. Apparently, Dame loves Draymond.
Oh, come on, give him that call. He needs help right now. Strike. Don't time the spam bots out, just ban them. Strike. All right, come on, Ray, get out of it. Get out of it. Get out of it. Is UCLA going to be ranked now? Oh, wait, they're already ranked. Okay. I guess they're just good. I guess they're just really good. Uh-huh. It's definitely a new ump. They don't let the same ump um, back-to-back games. They rotate the crew. So he might be at first base or something. But he's not the ump. The home plate ump, at least. I mean, to say. Uh, okay, come on. Come on. It's, yeah. Nice pick by France. Beautiful. All right. Okay. Viable still, man. Washington almost scored a touchdown, but <coughs> difficult catch got dropped in the end zone. Wouldn't have been an easy one. All right. We got a flag down. Probably false start. <sighs> yeah. False start. Second and 15 coming up. Come on, guys. Don't do this. This is the way that you make this game harder than it needs to be. Oh, C.J. Stroud threw a pick six. I didn't see that. C.J. Stroud threw a pick six. Not, <clears throat> not ideal. A.J., apparently Levis may not play. I'm hoping he does. He's one of the highlights of my week. Uh, Talupapa gets, like, maybe half a yard. Third down and long. Weird play call. I don't like that. I guess he almost broke it, though, if we're being honest here. That was actually kind of close, but, ugh. Ugh, boy. It's... Oh, man. There's a ton of runs in the NL. The AL can't put up runs so far. They're in 14. Penix drops back. Fires. End zone. One-on-one. -on -one. That's got to be... Yes. Okay. We got a flag. And that's going to be a first down. All day. Let's go. Let's go. Are they going to say uncatchable? I hope not. I think that's catchable. Nope. Pass interference. Uh, they wouldn't do that, Daniel. Why would they do that? You know they're going to fire their coach and bring in somebody else. So what do you have to lose hoping that the new coach can fix him? They won't do that, but if they bring in a new coach next year and Wilson's still this bad, then I think they could cut him. But I, I don't think there's any way they would do it this year. Like, that's too much. At a certain point, like, are you just trying to spite him or are you actually trying to help your team? Ugh, excuse me. And honestly,
they're probably married to him for longer than that. Like, the Giants never cut Eli Manning, even though he was year after year after year terrible. Third and nine coming up from the 10-yard line for Washington after a run stuff. Oh, okay. Next season, eighty million. God, it's still like what's the, if it's still eighty million? Then no, that's too much. You're literally paying him money to go away. Why not pray something gets better the following year, and then maybe you can start talking about it? But like. It's pretty rare that a team literally pays a player extra money to go away. All right, looks like Washington's going to be lining up for a field goal here. Ugh. And it's good. 10 to 3 Washington. Crawford got out somehow. I don't know how. Julio. Oh, he hits a line drive right to the damn short, the second baseman. Oh, that is some atrocious luck for Julio. Oh, that's dirty. All right. That, that, the XBH on that has to be like 75, 76. That's gross. By the way, the other thing going on with the Russ right now is the uh, there's something physically not right with him. He's having treatment done on his shoulder already. Uh, Santi was posting in the chat earlier about this. Um, that's going to be a really good excuse for him to use. That's going to be an opportunity for him to say, hey, I, I was hurt again. That's why I played like this. Um, so that's going to buy him more time, I think. The Hackett stuff's going to buy him more time because Hackett's a really, really bad. Um, honestly, you know, you had idiots insisting that Denver's roster was stacked and really good, but it's not. It's really not. Seattle's roster, even in recent years, has been is a lot better than what Denver has. At least offensively. Maybe not on defense, but... There are some excuses he can use. All right. Denver's, well, Denver's O-line right now is probably worse. <laughs> now France is at least making this dude throw some pitches. 
He's only at 42, though. He's going to get to go seven innings if this keeps up. We, we need to make him throw pitches. Good take. 3-2 count. We're going oppo field really well, but it's going. They're not shifting against us, and it's going right to them. Uh, all right, guys, I need to go look for some pills. I need to go look for some pills. I'll be right back. The Yeah, the Broncos didn't draft Elway. Have the Broncos ever drafted a good quarterback? Like, ever? Now that I think about it? Holy shit. Oh, snap. Okay. So, yeah, this might be the uh, bad Robbie Ray, I guess. Arizona State first down and a little bit more. Secondary still playing soft. Wait, I just turned it to ESPN. And it says they have a runner on second. What happened? 
Hold on. Okay. Hold on one second, guys. I'm in the middle. I something's come up. All right, sorry about that. Uh, okay, Ray might get out of it. Runner on second with. Two outs now. Vladdy at the plate, which is not great, but... You know, again, if Ray can hold Toronto to two runs and, like, let, let's say he goes six innings. And right now, maybe that doesn't look overly likely, but let's say he does go six innings. <clears throat> he did his job. You got to score. Uh, I don't know what's going on in the Husky game right now. I think Arizona has third down and six. No, I think they already picked that up. Oh, come on. Give him that call. He caught the corner. Give me a break. Give him that call. He deserves it. You want a Cy Young for you assholes last year. God dang it. Well, this is going south. Okay, three runs now. So uh, Ray's got some serious work to do if he wants to grind out a respectable start. He almost got out of it, too. He was very close. Yeah, Arizona State's driving as well while we're here. 
Is that a penalty? It could be. Yeah, our defense, man. Wolf. I guess... Ah, uh, he almost got out of it too, man. That is super unfortunate. Oscar Gonzalez, walk-off home run for Cleveland, and I guess they move on. Cleveland wins. Cleveland wins. Bringing in Brash out of the pen is not a bad idea, though. He is somebody who's capable of going multiple innings, but realistically, we need Ray to settle down here. I don't think going to the bullpen now... I, you're basically throwing the game away, I think. Which, maybe at a certain point, you that's okay. But I don't think we're at that point yet. Yeah, Guardians move on. All right, well, Ray got out of it. But at this rate, we're going to hopefully get five innings from him, which is not, not good enough. Uh, looks like a touchdown Arizona State. So, yeah, Washington's defense is... Uh, they, they figured out how to play well against him. Yep, they suck. All right, we got a tie game against Arizona State, 10-10. Can't stop the can't stop nothing on D. Kind of like last week. So, I guess that's just who we are at this point.
All right. I mean, either way, Mariners, you need to score some runs if you want to win this game. So uh, now would be the time to start doing something. At least put pressure on Gaussman so you can get his ass out of the game. Tired of never making pitchers work hard. Yeah, a hit would be nice. Man, that ball drops out of the zone like crazy. Is that his splitter? That's hey, Jeffrey. Bitch, I flex Rick Ross. Suarez strikes out on a pitch low. He cannot... They keep on chasing those pitches just barely out of the zone. Yeah, they can't make contact on him. He brought it today. Wow. Cal just waving at it. Ooh, got bailed out there. Is the name of the Mariners opponent not in the title of the stream? Like, it says Seattle Mariners versus Toronto Blue Jays, right? Did I forget to put that there? I've had multiple people ask me this now, and it's like... I don't get it. Oh boy, Washington went three and out. I don't like where this is going. I don't like where this is going at all. Al's having good at bats. Better than anyone else on this team. That's for sure.
Oh, okay. Ah, another strikeout. Are we going to get no hit? Is that where this is headed? Feeling like a no hitter. Anniger gets ahead in the count. Oh, did he get that? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, gross. Why would I change the title? The title is accurate, right? Why would I change the title? Apparently Springer's in pain, though. Hand off up the middle. Pickup of like four. All right. Defense needs to make a stop at some point. Big hole, big run. Oh, is he gone? No, okay. 50-yard line. Well, I mean, I'm not surprised, but it's still really disappointing to see. <laughs> Three-yard pickup. Wait, are you serious, David? Wow. Ray has completely melted down. All right, I think it's time to wave the white flag and just let Torrens pitch the rest of this game, I guess. Emmett, are you stupid? Logan, the guy who's going to start tomorrow? Why the hell would... What? 
Jeez. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, all games are in Toronto. Well. I think pitching Ray today was probably the right decision, but holy shit, he was not ready for this moment at all. First down Arizona State, by the way. Incomplete. Oh boy. Saints are not good. So Ray goes three innings, basically. Cool. I was rooting so hard for him to have a good game because I know the fan base it could go one way or the other with him. But it didn't happen. All right. Well, third down and seven for Arizona State coming up here. Big completion for Arizona State. And yeah, Washington can't stop anything. Anything! Alright, well. No, this game's over, guys. The Mariners game is over. Gaussman is unhittable right now. We're four runs down. Like, stop, stop even talking about it. It's ridiculous. Like, Gaussman is unhittable, and with the way he's throwing pitches, he's going seven. Like, how do we win? Incomplete. Oh, boy. The good news is we exhausted their bullpen, but I doubt it's going to be enough. Blitz, blitz, blitz. And he gets his hot route, and that's going to be a walk-in touchdown. Wow, man. The moment I start believing in this Huskies team, they completely show... Their weakness is really, really strong. Wow. I uh, got nothing to say. Nothing to say. Yeah, Russell Wilson goes to L.A. for a shoulder procedure. So he's already super dinged up.
Barely anybody's here now, too. Everyone's tuning out because things are going shitty. Can't blame you. Can't blame none of you. Good lord. Mm. I can't believe how bad this defense is. I knew it was going to be a weakness, but it is literally unplayable. They can't do anything right on defense all of a sudden. It's crazy. action Penix throws it over the middle caught nice catch by Westover Yeah, but this is a bad team, Scott. This UC this Arizona State team is not good. Oh, deep shot, deep shot, no. said Penix deflected oh no pick six pick six on the deflection guys guys Jeffrey, thank you for the $5 of a well-timed super chat. The Mariners starting the Blue Jays' old pitcher was a boneheaded move. Obviously, all those hitters knew what was coming. Very Mariners move. I mean, look, you start your best players, so I can't fault them, but it didn't work out. Okay, so, um, nothing's good right now. Everything sucks. Extra points, good. I was so afraid of this yesterday because things were going well sports-wise and I was feeling really good about things. And... Like... was afraid of this man i mean okay that hit off a helmet okay that's i mean that's terrible luck don't get me wrong but yeah thank you jeffrey for the five dollars i mean there were definitely a lot of people who were hoping we wouldn't play ray in the playoffs because they thought kirby and logan were better but i don't know i don't have a problem with it it just didn't work out life was so good yesterday too 24 hours ago, life was amazing.
All right, we need a score here really badly because I'm pretty sure Arizona State starts with the ball. Handoff up the middle. Ooh, big hole. First down, 40, 45 goes down. Hey, Andrick, say thank you for the dollar 99. I'll take this horrible Saturday for double W's tomorrow. Sure. I mean, sign me up for that. Don't get me wrong. Penix, first down over the middle. Still plenty of time left. Hey, Green 80. Oh, we got a hit. Cool. I'm watching the Huskies game right now, guys. I'll tune back over when it's halftime, which is not that far away. Snap. Penix. Ooh, that looked dangerous, but he fitted in there for eight yards. What, you're talking about the procedure, right, Green 80? I saw that. Yeah. I saw the procedure thing. Penix goes deep. He's got one on one. Incomplete. Hey, Frazier coming through. He actually had a hit yesterday, too. So maybe this is the Frazier uh, comeback tour. I don't know. Ooh, running play, left. I think that was a fly sweep, first down. Yeah, I don't think it's a surgery. It's not surgery, I don't think. Penix has all day back there, looking, looking, short completion, four yards, maybe five. Wait, really, David? So he shouldn't be playing. Like, there's no way he should be playing if that's the case. Oh, wow. Wow. Denver might lose out into the bye week and get Hackett fired, if that's the case. I mean, goddamn. Second and seven. Penix. Over the middle, wide open, caught. Inside the five to Culp. Inside the two. One minute left, so we can take our time here. Use the clock and try to go in for this touchdown. All right, what's going on? What's going on in the Mariners game, people? I haven't turned it yet. Double. All right. Did we finally break through on Gaussman? I want to see if the Huskies can get a touchdown here real quick before I check back. 
but at least we're doing something. Oh, are they going to call it a home run? Yeah, Denver doesn't have a real... a real backup they they don't really have a real backup it just they got a ride literally hmm. lovely jeffrey thank you for the five dollar super chat russ has a convenient excuse for playing like a rookie bus now pretty predictable touchdown huskies by the way Pretty predictable PR move, actually, with how the Broncos fans reacted. I mean, I don't think he's faking it, but he'll definitely play it up if he needs to. Oh, are you kidding me? They're going to let it stand a double? Okay. <coughs> Bad break, but let's see if we can get these guys home and make it not matter. Damn. That would have been nice. See, this is the hard part for the Mariners. Their batting average is so low, they really need those home runs to count because it's so hard for them to get runners across. All right. <clears throat> Son of a bitch. Lovely. Come on, Kelnick. Sack fly or something. Ooh. Is that enough? Shit. That might not be enough. Ooh, he's going. He's going. Yes, and he's going to score. All right. Kelnick did it. Kelnick did his job. Okay. He did his thing. He did his job. All right, Crawford, we need a single here. Come on, Crawford. <clears throat> uh, foul ball, I think. Well, Crawford did not get it done there, so it's up to JP. It's all up to Julio. Jeffrey, thank you for the $5 again. The announcer saying the Blue Jays pitcher's name wrong is funny. It's Guzman. Oh, really? What? 
Julio smashes it right... God damn it, dude. We're hitting it hard right to people. Screw me. Oh, really, David? I hate that. Let Brash go a couple innings. Don't burn your whole bullpen for tomorrow. You might need it. Why are we burning our bullpen? Are we just planning to go to Kirby if Logan doesn't pitch well? Yes. Um, this, the procedure that Wilson had, the injection is the same that Dak Prescott got that made him miss a month of camp. So this is significant. This is a big deal. I love, uh, yeah. <clears throat> the good news is there are a couple of dumbasses on Twitter. The Wilson Simps. I'm looking at their Twitter accounts right now. These things are glorious, man. It is such a good time to be free of your blind fanboyism for a player. And you see the people who cannot bring them, who, you, who cannot bring themselves to be free from the fanboyism of a player. And it's great, and I love it. Jesus. Um. So we missed out on a second run by like five inches, so that sucks. But the good news is that we have a run, and we actually made some progress on Gaussman. Ah, oh, god damn it that's such a good pitch and he like basically throws himself across the batter's box to get to it and it somehow sneaks into the outfield there is some bad luck going on today with these mariners i will say that like like they're not playing well but there is some rotten luck going on right now in this game and uh some of this stuff is understandable
Ugh. And I guess, well, Green 80, the thing is, they, they would definitely fire Hackett at the bye week. I wonder if getting a new head coach in there would help them win at least a couple. Just a shot in the arm, you know? Little shot in the arm. Come on. Yeah. Yes. All right. Strike out. Good call. Springer's been relatively quiet. <coughs> uh, David, I saw it on Twitter as well. I saw somebody say that on Twitter. Yeah. Honestly, Fangio was a much better coach. I don't think you do, Austin. He's clearly terrible. You don't have to give him a year if you can already tell he's garbage. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, honestly, if you've got you've got the Jets, <clears throat> you've got the Panthers, and the Broncos really could lose every other game they play this year without even playing terrible. Uh, they could go four and thirteen just on virtue of the fact that they're playing good teams. So if they're gonna play like they played on Thursday, then you are probably top. Then you really could go. You really could just go like three wins, and it. If the Broncos win three games this year, is that the greatest trade in NFL history? Yeah. See, I really didn't like pulling out Brash. I thought that was a terrible idea. I hated it. Okay, well, now he's got to get Vlad out. Oh, we're going to intentionally walk Vlad, aren't we? Okay, we need a double play, like, in the worst way possible. Like, that is Herschel Walker tier. Well, the good news is we're playing Kirk. So he can ground into a double play all day. What happened? Did something bad happen? I get the sense something bad happened. Oh! Yeah. Well, maybe it's good that we're using Suwald now so we can't use him later. I guess I'll, I'll go with that. I'm not against that mentality. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, yeah. It's all about tomorrow now. Jeffrey Thistle, thank you for the $5. This could be Herschel Walker trade worthy. I just don't like the fact we'll be rolling in new coaches and ownership going into the prime of this team. I mean, that could be a good thing, right? What if Pete and John set the table for the next regime? What if Pete and John set the table for the next regime and you bring in the right guys and they're just inheriting this stacked roster? Well, Sewald walks Kirk, which I guess is okay because first base is open. Well, I strongly believe we're going to promote Sean Desai at some point to head coach. I think Sean Desai is the guy. I think Desai is the next man up. I just don't know when. And if Desai does really well, maybe he goes somewhere else. <coughs> Before you can promote him, that's possible as well. A Oh. Wow. Well. I guess just leave Suwald out there and let him let him roast. You, you um it looks like he's got nothing left. What the heck happened to him? He was pitching so well. All right, well, that game was probably over anyway, so whatever. Going back to the Huskies. Um, we're just, they're still at halftime, though. Russell Wilson just tweeted, if you're going through hell, keep going. Quote by Winston Churchill. Does anyone else think making $45 million a year to be a terrible quarterback is equivalent to hell? Like, would anybody else consider that situation that Russ is in right now to be hell? That uh, seems a little goofy to me. Nice, but hell.
Now, tomorrow morning is going to be a pain in the ass because we got the Seahawks and the Mariners on at the same time. Oh, the contract Wilson's on is going to be his last contract, almost certainly. Like, that was going to be the case even if he was good, probably. Uh, that contract takes him into his old, old age. Oh, yeah. Um. <clears throat> Suwald's removed. <laughs> I hope they don't use any of their good pitchers, though. Like, like, are they really going to put in Castillo? Like, you might need to use Castillo tomorrow. Why can't you just put in, like, Festa or somebody that you know you're not going to use? Or, hell, call up Anthony Sandwich. I don't know. I'm just thinking about, I mean, my only focus now is tomorrow, obviously. And tomorrow, like, who are you going to have? You're going to have Munoz. You're going to have Munoz. But I guess Kirby is going to have to be enough. And I guess Swanson. We still haven't used Swanson yet. I guess it's okay, but man, I want to save my guys. I really want to save my guys. Still halftime. Halftime in college football takes forever, I think. Is it just me, or does halftime in college football take way longer than halftime in pro football? Am I wrong? God, we should have just left Brash in there. Why didn't we just leave Brash in there? Oh, wow, Kyle Pitts is out. Okay, I got to pull him from my lineup. Well, I guess the plan tomorrow is Su is Swanson, Munoz, Kirby, and pff, God, if we really have to pitch Festa tomorrow, I'm going to be mad. Oh! He just hit Merrifield in the head. I mean, I know this game's over, but I don't know if I like the idea of you trying to knock their whole team out before tomorrow's game.
hit him right in the head. <laughs> I guess he's okay. Oh, God. Okay. Well, you know what? It's not worth getting upset about, right? This game's over. All right, Huskies, what you got? Make a play on defense, FFS. Run up the middle for like four yards. Another run, going to set up third and one. Roll out. Incomplete. And that's going to be fourth down. That's a big stop. I don't know why they didn't just run the ball. That was a roll out, little, little toss, and nothing. Punt. I think it's going to be fair caught at about the 22. He doesn't trust Sue Aldo Castillo with the lead. Well, I guess I can't blame him. So it's all about Munoz and Swanson. And in fairness, in the playoffs, you only need two or three bullpen guys most of the time. I wish we had that third guy. Right now, I don't know who the third guy would be unless it's Boyd, who's actually pitched great since he got here, but I don't think you trust him. I'm literally watching commercials on Pac-12 Network because it's better than watching the Mariners. 
Holy crap. Oh, we got out of it. Cool. Only seven runs down. First and ten. By the way, thank you to Jeffrey for getting me almost all the way to the stream super chat goal. Very cool. We usually don't get up to the goal in the Husky streams. So thank you to him for keeping the lights on. Pen Penix takes off up the middle. He's got a little bit of room. He's going to get like four yards. Awkward slide, but second down and manageable. Sorry if you guys can hear my dog, by the way. And off up the middle, going to pick up like three... Third down coming up for UW. They need this. Hopefully, A. Andrix, that's all I can say. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Third and five, big play. Snap, drops back, has time, throws it short. He's got the completion, but, oh, he fell down. He fell down. He had the first down, but he tripped. He's probably half a yard short. Are we going to go for it? If we don't get it, we're basically giving them points. The dude fell down. Oh... They're going for it, I think. And Talu Papa's coming out. He looks like he's hurt. Jananth Kumar, thank you for the $10. Enjoy your Sunday, folks. I'm hoping we do. Jananth Kumar, thank you for the support. Here we go. Fourth and one. Man in motion. Jet sweep. Almost. Oh, no. Oh, no. We didn't get it. Not even close. Arizona State's going to take over. Oh, God. Okay. Well, that's probably a free touchdown for Arizona State. I think it was right to go for it, though. I think it was right to go for it. Our defense is trash. It doesn't really matter where they get the ball that much, but uh, that play call, I don't know about. That play call is suspect. Okay, first and 10 at the 29. We need a turnover. It wasn't a toss. It was like a jet sweep or something. Short completion over the middle for like 8 or 9. God damn, dude. This is not going well. Plainly and simply not going well. Running play going right. He gets to the outside. First down. Three yard pickup. God, I wish it meant something though, David. 
God damn, if it was only still 4-1. If it was still 4-1, I would believe. Ugh, why did we pull Brash? That was so dumb. Why? Why? Why, why, why did we pull Brash? He was gonna be fine. Just let Brash eat for a few innings. If he gets beat up, who cares? You weren't going to use him tomorrow anyway. Stretch play going left. Big hole. Down at the 10. Second and two coming up. Oh, boy. Wow. God damn it. Why can't this stuff... Okay, well, we got Mitch up here. We got Mitch up, right? Like, you hit a grand slam here, it's not over. Are we... God, why did that stupid ending have to happen? Fucking Suwald. Wow, kind of a broken play there for ASU. <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, third and three. Kind of important we get the stop here. He is, but... Ooh, blitz. Touchdown. Touchdown. Man beat double coverage. Got open in the back of the end zone. Blitz took too long to get there. And uh, we have a problem, people. We have a big, big problem here. Big problem. Mondo big. God, that would have been good for Mitch to turn on. 96, middle, middle. Oh, excuse me. Low and outside. Low, in the dirt, two and one count.
Ah, little, couldn't quite make the good contact there. Apparently we can't play Flex and he's not on the roster. <coughs> I wonder if you put Marco in there. Gotta be somebody you can put out there just to waste time. Mitch catches a piece to foul it off. Mitch keeps chasing the splitter. Mitch cannot lay off the splitter, man. He sees it and he goes fishing. Damn. Damn. Why am I getting wrapped up in this stuff? This game is still over. Unless Frazier hits a home run here. At least we're going to get Gaussman out of the game, but again, it doesn't matter. If it was 4-1, to one, I would believe this stuff matters, but there's no way it does. Ugh. Unfortunate. But, if we can make this look a little more respectable, that's good. And Frazier is good against Gaussman. Gaussman's best pitch is his splitter. Um, I, I <clears throat> was reading a little bit about that. That's his pitch. Jason, Washington's moving. Richard Newton's in the game. That's uh, interesting. Pop up. Super cool. So it's all on Santana. And honestly, if you want to get back in this, you have to hit a home run. Are they going to pull Gaussman? Are they pulling Gaussy? Or Gooseman? I can't remember how to pronounce it. I already forgot. Lefty coming in. Okay. Now, I am going to flip on over to the Washington game, and we'll see what happens. But I want to see what happens here more right now. Penix. Penix is honestly playing fine for the most part. It's This isn't really his fault. Ooh, big run, big run, inside the 21. All right, let me know what happens in the Mariners game because I'm watching the Huskies, we're driving.
There's still plenty of time, but this defense needs to get a stop. Penix wide open over by the 10 at the sideline. And who is that? Is that Polk? Well, he's down at about the 5. Whoever it is. Uh, ooh, Newton. Injured of some, some, some kind of injury. Handoff up the middle. I think he's in. I think Cam Davis got in. If not, he's down at like the one inch line. Okay, he's in. He's in. Okay, I'm going to flick back here. Tim Miza. He pitched yesterday. So if they're pitching him two days in a row, they probably won't have him tomorrow. I mean, uh, this is kind of why you have Santana in there, right? This is why Santana's had his value to this team. Ooh, okay. Do they walk Santana to play to face Kelnick now? <coughs> Do they walk Santana? Serious question. And then you get Kelnick, who probably isn't going to do anything, versus Santana, who is, you know, nothing if not a power hitter. Or do you just trust your lefty to be able to get Santana? Swing and a miss. Good pitch. Right on the corner. Ooh, did he get it? Did he get it? He got it! Uh, if only Sewell didn't crap his pants. But, we're back in it. We are back in it. Why did Sewell have to poop his pants? God damn it all to hell. Do you have any idea how hype things would be right now? God damn it. I mean, the Suwald move is bad, but let's not forgive Suwald for pitching that poorly. I mean, at the end of the day, yes, Suwald shouldn't have been put in the game, but Suwald also has no excuse to be that awful. He hit it from the right-handed side, too. Ooh. Okay, guys, I'm going to have to step away for a few minutes. Looks like dinner's ready. I got to go eat. So uh, everyone just chill out for a while. I don't know exactly how long I'll be gone, but I'll be back as soon as I can.
All right, <clears throat> I'm back. I'm back. What is going on? Oh, God. Okay. Well, we gave up a touchdown, but we are about to score another touchdown. So, uh, plenty of time left still. Husky, uh, Mariners went one, two, three. If they <clears throat> get their crap straight, they might get another crack with the top of their lineup, but, uh, they, uh, they got to do something in these last two innings, period. I hope we don't burn all of our good bullpen pitchers trying to chase this win. Broncos quarterback Russell Wilson played the last seven quarters plus the overtime with a partially torn lat near his right shoulder. And the Huskies can't get in the end zone. Do they fumble? They're saying no. But we really need this touchdown. We've got two more chances. Touchdown, Washington. Okay, 38 31. Extra points, good. Uh, okay. <clears throat> France and Hanniger need to show up. All right, cool. Fest is still in. That's good. God damn. Why did Festa have to poop his pants like that, man? So unpleasant. No wife in the club. Give me $20. Give me $20. Give me $20. No wife in the club. Give me twenty dollar. Give me twenty dollar. Give me twenty dollar. We don't. Oh, okay. Good for Van Dyke. Maybe he'll be a third rounder now.
Okay, first and ten for Washington. Snap. Play action. No, not play action. Handoff. Loss of five yards. Nice play. Oh, really, Austin? That's funny. I mean, if you want to <clears throat> take Brash out, yeah, but... I mean... <clears throat> it kind of feels like we just gave up on the game. And now we're regretting that because of Santana. Baka hentai. Baka hentai. Way. Third and 15 coming up for the Huskies. They need this stop. They need this stop. Third and 15, get off the field. 
Snap. He's got some time. Throws it. I intercepted. Intercepted along the sideline. He went for the first down along the sideline, and um, there wasn't really a receiver there. So Washington takes over, and they're going to have good field position. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, Marvin Harrison Jr. You know, these juniors tend to be pretty good pros. Maybe we should get him. Oh, no. 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 We had roughing the passer. Or was it after the play? I can't tell. I think we have the ball, so it must have been after the play. Okay. Okay, at least there's that. But we do lose some of our field position. Snap. Penix looks, has time, moves, moves, throws it. Caught. Nice. First down across. We basically got the penalty yards back. Back, plenty of time all day. Throws it short, checks it down, first down, and a bunch more. Big run after the catch, down to the 13 for Odunzi. And Washington on the verge of tying the game at 38 all. We have an Arizona State player down. Yeah, Murphy was pitching really well there for a while, but everything just kind of fell off. Didn't happen. Is he faking it? That looks like he might be faking an injury to slow down our offense. Don't kill the messenger. But that's what it looked like to me. You don't win, friends, with salad. You don't, well, actually, I don't think he is faking it. It looks like he's going in the tunnel. So, he probably isn't. <clears throat> uh, can Murphy just get out of this already? God dang, all to hell. Oh, my God. Just get out of this so we can have a slightly dramatic end of the game, please. Ooh, offside? No, he got back. Pistol formation, three, four receivers, actually. My bad. Now shotgun, snap. Going to be a receiver screen, and he's going to get like five or six.
Okay, second and five. Gonna be a screen. That looked very dangerous, but it does complete for about two yards. That was not worth the risk on that play. That seemed to have been defended quite well. Phew. Third and three, handoff up the middle, hole, first down, touchdown, Cam Davis. We are an extra point away from tying this sucker. <clears throat> uh, so we're kind of like quiet quitting this game. We're not giving up on the game, but we are giving up on the game. <laughs> like, we're not giving up, but we're giving up. <laughs> It's like that whole quiet quitting thing. Extra point is good. <laughs> okay, come on, Murphy, get out of it. Get out of it. Ton of time left in this Huskies game, by the way. you would sell that to me uh russ is not gonna miss any games <clears throat> apparently he should he should probably 
come back after the bye week. Okay, here comes the Washington defense. They made a stop last time. Do it again. Okay, Murphy gets out of it, giving up the one run. So, we're, we got work to do. Six more outs. Oh, big run, big run, big run. Eh, actually, well, 16, 17 yards. That looks like it was going to be a lot more. Weird one, David. Maybe the coach bet against him on the spread. Run up the middle, no gain. Maybe maybe a half yard. Like, I understand that Russ is going to be stubborn about this, but you just can't play him. Like, <clears throat> he doesn't even have a good offensive line. We knocked down the pass on second down, by the way. It's third and ten. Nice play by Tuttle. I don't know. Tuiti? Tulete? Tuilete? Third and ten. You get off the field here, you're starting to turn things around a little bit. Just seems like a very dumb thing to do. I mean, I agree, JS. Don't get me wrong. Uh, he's got time. He throws it. Open at midfield. Caught. Damn it. First down. Okay. Yep. Secondary. Still the secondary. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? D couldn't get any pressure on him. Nice throw, honestly. Is that right here? Wide receiver screen, going to be like two yards. Snap, screen pass, no gain. Third, well, maybe he fights for a yard. Third and long. 38 to 38. It's 38 to 38. Not that I know of, Green. 
Snap. Drops back. No pressure. Throws it. Oh, my God. Wide open down the sideline. Corner got beat. Bad. Oh, uh, boy. Corner got destroyed there. And uh, that's going to be first and 10 from the 15. Yeah. I know, JS. All these Wilson people were telling me how much better Denver's roster was compared to ours. All right, here we go. First and 10 from the 14. Pistol. Snap. Handoff up the middle. Big hole. First down inside the... Down at the one, looks like. Okay, so first and goal from the one-yard line now. A lot of time left in this game. We could get to like 50 points each or something. Okay. Tackle for a loss of one. See you later, Donnie. Oh, Suarez hit a double. See, God damn it. Why can't the pitchers... Why can't our pitchers let this game get interesting? It can't be interesting when they keep giving up all these runs. Hey, Ava. What's up? Second and goal from the two. Snap. Drops back to pass. Throws it. Oh, the corner got destroyed on that. It was basically just like a jump ball. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He got destroyed. If the Huskies score a touchdown here, should we go for two? Should we just, like, go for two and let that be the play that decides the game? Yeah, there's no quitting these Mariners. That's good. All right, Cal got Suarez home. Nine to six. Oh, still six outs left, man. And now we're against the Toronto bullpen that is a little more malleable. You can get to this bullpen a little bit. Now would be a great time for a home run, Mitch. Make him sweat. Stop chasing everything, Mitch. This is the stuff we were talking about. Stop chasing everything. Stop chasing. You know what the sad thing is about the Wilson stuff, too, this year? You know what the really sad thing is? 
He has something to prove. He got traded. Like the Seahawks said, you're not that good. So we traded him. That should motivate him to prove that we were wrong. Like, remember when Roger Clemens got traded from the Red Sox to the Blue Jays and immediately got into shape and became the best player that he had ever been? Like, that should be Wilson this year, but he's the worst he's ever been. Like, there should be some degree of motivation on his part <clears throat> to be the best version of himself, and it's not happening. Adam Frazier's in the box, though. God dang, I wish we could... Oh, man. Adam Frazier. <clears throat> Do we put Toro in? Serious question, guys. Does Toro pinch hit for Frazier? Penix hasn't thrown a touchdown in this game. It's been all Davis. He's run for a touchdown. Back of the bus. Okay, Romano, are we really going to make him do a six-out save? Oh, boy. That's a top five picks here, man. It is easier. All right, Penix incomplete. All right, first down, Huskies. Ball to Frazier. Ah, he chased. I think he chased. I don't think that's a strike. Oh! Oppo Field, single, will not score a run but it does give Dylan Moore a chance to do something really special. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Santana. I forgot. It's Santana. For some reason, I thought Dylan Moore was up. Crap. It has to be Santana, though. Dylan Moore, uh, Crawford, and... Dylan Moore and Crawford can't be the guys, man.
Okay, here we go, guys. I mean, this is why Santana's here, to make plays like this. Get out, get out, get out. Okay. God, that looked like something he was going to crank. Is he okay? Is he okay? Oh, no. If something's wrong with Santana and he can't finish this at bat, then it's probably Toro, right? What happened? He just swung at the pitch. What the heck happened? IR confuzzled. She seems unhappy. She seems unhappy. She does. Seems very. I guess they're saying he's okay. Unhappy. He actually runs a little bit better than I thought he would be able to. Will Nixon's now running the ball for the Huskies. We keep swapping running backs in and out. It's kind of weird. All right, come on, Santana. So let's say for the sake of argument, we take the lead here. What do we do in the eighth and ninth? It's going to be Swanson in one of them, but it can't be Munoz. Who's the guy? It can't, we can't leave Murphy in. Maybe wrestle. I haven't thought much of him yet, but maybe wrestle, Mark, you. I'm open to it. I like what I see from him. The problem is he's in that Chip Kelly offense. And I feel like that can be very misleading sometimes. Seems right. Munoz will pitch the ninth even after going almost two innings? You think so? Okay. I mean, I guess, but we usually don't do that with him. Yeah, he didn't go. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Sorry. Ooh, he may have gone. <laughs> I don't know. That's close. Ah! Chased. Oh, God. This is where things get really dicey, because now it's Dylan Moore and J.P. Crawford. Oh, boy. I mean, Dylan Moore has hit some big home runs this year, but man, that one hurt. We needed that. We needed at least one run there. Come on. Come on. Why don't you pinch hit Toro? Why don't you put Toro in? I'm surprised. I thought this was like the perfect spot to throw Toro in there instead of Moore. I know Moore's had a much better season than Toro, but this seems like a Toro kind of spot to me.
maybe I'm off here, but that's what it feels like to me. A little outside. Gosh, you just made an accident. Ooh, he caught a piece. That looked like a strikeout all the way, and then he caught the piece. Well, um, the Huskies have fourth and nine at the 45, and I think they just have to go for it, meanwhile. And if they don't get the first down, I think this game is over, because this defense can't stop nothing. Come on. Okay. I mean, Crawford hasn't hit a home run in a million years, so now would be a nice time. Where's it at? Oh, drop. Yes. Bye game. And Bo Bichette is down. Well, um, if Toronto does win this game, who are they going to have tomorrow? That's the one and two of their lineup. Uh, I think Bichette's okay, but Springer might not be. Wow, bloop, double, bloop, double, and by the way, we have a runner in scoring position. This would be a heartbreaker if you did all this and lost, but we got to use our pitchers. Okay, now Julio, by the way, gets a chance to hit Crawford home. Wow, he's actually getting carried off. Bichette looks okay, but Springer. Wow. Wow. Walk Julio, but then you get France, and I know France isn't playing great right now, but are you really that much, are you really happy about pitching to France? 
Wow, he is getting carted off. I mean, I don't think he broke anything, but they are carting him off. I guess. Oh, um, looks like Washington failed on fourth down. So Arizona State has the ball with a chance to end the game. Too bad it didn't keep rolling. Crawford almost could have gotten home. Yep, he's getting carted all the way the heck off. Hey, Big Patty Daddy, what's up? What happened? They didn't even really hit each other. Well, oh, I see it now. Okay. It didn't look terrible on the field, but... Oh. Does he have a concussion? Hit him right in the head. Jeez. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh. Um, look. Whoa, Jackie Bradley Jr. Haven't seen him in a minute. I cannot believe we did just enough against Gaussman to get him out of the game in time for this. Yeah, they are going to walk Julio. Wow. Well, France needs to take offense. France needs to look at that and go, "Wow, they don't respect me. I'm going to I'm going to rip them a new asshole here." Somebody in this game is going to score more points than Wilson did on Thursday night football. It's guaranteed. So much for the elite closer. Although that was bloopy, if we're straight up honest. Come on, France. Send it over the seats. Get it to the seats. Outside. Okay, two strike count. Come on, Ty. Outside and low. Okay, Washington's got one more chance here. They've got enough time. And if they score, they should probably go for two. Just let the game be ended right there. All right. 87 yards to go. I'll turn it as soon as this is over. Fuck. Damn it, France. Penix just went down for a big sack. 
It's second in a million y yards now. If we do all this work and still lose, that's going to be so painful. But, uh, hey, we're here, guys. We're here. I mean, can you believe that we're even at this point right now? I don't know how that didn't get intercepted, but incomplete. Third and 20. Got to get at least half of it here. Where's the... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, David, but now are we going to burn our good pitchers, our good bullpen pitchers, chasing this win? We got to get it done. Okay, it's going to be a short completion over the middle. He can't shake the tackle, though, so it's only going to be 10 yards. So, fourth and 10, and this is the game. If we do not get this, Arizona State is kneeing the clock out. Fourth and 12. Snap, drops back, looks, throws it deep, caught, first down, past the 30, okay, O'Dunsey. Uh-oh, someone's hurt, it's Penix, Penix down, roughing the passer, but Arizona State may have gotten the better of that exchange because Penix is hurt and it doesn't look good. Munoz is in. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Oh. Oh, that should be an ejection. He went for the head. He literally headhunted him. No way. Dude, that is dirty. If I'm looking at that right, he basically punched him in the head. Based off what I just saw from that camera angle, that guy should be banned from playing for the rest of the year. He basically clobbered him in the head to knock him out of the game. Well, Springer can't play, so it's Jackie Bradley Jr., right? Yeah, Springer's got to be out. He got carted off. There's no way he's already back. Oh, what the hell? Dude. That guy should be ejected for the rest of his career. That is dirty. Yeah, he just hit him in the head. That guy should be banned for life. <clears throat> Especially with all the stuff about concussions in the NF in football right now. Holy crap, what a piece of shit. Now Dylan Morris is probably going to come in. Looks like we don't trust Heward yet. He strikes out. Okay. So, if we lose and play tomorrow, Munoz cannot pitch. He's already gone two games in a row. There's just no way he goes a third, right? 
Like that becomes basically impossible. Basically. Thank you very much. So Bo is fine. Yeah, he got up pretty quickly after the collision. Find the zone. Don't put somebody on for Vlad. Speaking of which. Yeah, I would give Bichette the green light on 3-0. He's batting almost 300 this year. Hey, Indrex, uh, there's no good plan. You just pitch who you have. Unfortunately, we've already gone through most of our guys. It's going to be like that Yankees game. You got what you got. Not even close. That's an unfortunate pitch from Munoz. That one wasn't even close. Wait a minute. Is Penix in the game? Penix is in the game. He looked like he got knocked out like Mike Tyson. Penix goes deep. Receiver falls down. Nothing. on Munoz don't lose control here man don't lose control second and ten P Penix throws it short incomplete probably good that was incomplete that was not going to go anywhere interesting come on Munoz get it together yeah I don't think a completion there helps. We have no timeouts. Time is actually a little bit of a factor here. Fox 
fumble. Penix can't fall on it. Uh, well, we still have it, but um, we'll be lucky to get a snap off here, and it's fourth down and 50. Okay, we've got a Hail Mary to tie the game here, basically. Hail Mary. Fourth and 35, but you need the touchdown. 56 yards away. 56 yards away. Oh, my God. Hey, Brian. Come on. Punch him out, Munoz. Punch him out. Da da da. Yeah, guys, I got that. One more out? Okay. Kirk, not an easy out. Kirk ain't no easy out. Kirk ain't no easy out. Yeah, Green. He does. Okay. Okay. Fourth and 35. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Come on. He rolls out. Throws it deep. It is probably going to get to the end zone. No, it doesn't. Not even. A few yards short. That'll do it. And, uh, yeah, the season's a wreck now. Rip. I'm back on the Mariners game. Kirk, come on. Don't let him. Ah, close. Muno seems to be having a little bit of a control issue right now. If he gets out of this, I really don't want to see him in the ninth. I'll say that much. I assume you mean the Huskies, David, not the Mariners. Crap. I guess you could walk Kirk, but then you have Hernandez, who's got fireballs coming out of his butt right now. Davis is injured, I think, his foot. I wasn't sure if he was going to play today or not. got away with that if Kirk swings at that that's probably still being chased Ugh. 
He can't find the zone. Walking Kirk is okay, though. I mean, like, if he walks Kirk, that's certainly an acceptable outcome. Come on. Come on, just ground out to Crawford or something. Make it easy. Oh, he got a... That's a horrible strike call. I can't even lie. That is an atrocious call. Good lord. That's not even close. All right. 3-2 count. All right. All right. Okay, we got Suarez, Cal, and Mitch. I mean, all three of those guys fully capable of going yard. All three of those guys fully capable of going yard. Other than Julio, who would you rather have up right now? Right? One of them gets on, then it's Frazier, then Santana, and Frazier's had a good game, and, like, sure, let's do it. Okay, three more outs. If we go to extra innings, we should go with Kirby. Yeah, it's a risk, though. Oh, boy. God damn. That leaves you with so little for a game tomorrow. But I guess you have to do it. Yes, Austin, they did. Which reminds me. All right. So uh we're just we're just not a very good team, I guess. That's uh that's the only real way to put it now. I I thought this team had turned a bit of a corner and don't get me wrong, overall they have turned a corner. But you look at it and you still have to go. This defense is so bad that you can't really say they've become one of the best teams in the Pac-12 the way that I thought we were. I thought we were getting there, but no, no. You got to be able to stop somebody at some point. And for you to give up 45 points and, well, okay, 38 points to Arizona State, the Sun Devils. I mean, on some level, it makes you concerned that you can't play well on the road, that this is like a, a road problem because the road is what gave you issues against UCLA. But even, it doesn't matter where the game is. It doesn't matter where the game is played. You still have to get stops at some point just to be a... I don't like the way that one was coming out. I'll record it after the Mariners thing is over or during a commercial break or something. It was a mistake to try to do it right now anyway. Kirby warming up. Okay.
I hope it's Swanson if it's the ninth. Kirby's never been in that spot before. Outside. Oh. Okay. That's going to find the wall. Uh, Cal's going to get into second base. Oh, is he okay? Yeah, he's okay. And for a second, it looked like he pulled a hammy or something. Okay, so do we pinch run Cal? I guess we do, which makes it really dicey if we don't score here, but it is what it is. It's probably the right thing to do. Yikes. I mean, Hanniger, you haven't done much yet. Time to do something. Wow. Dicey. Dicey! <coughs> so if Hanniger doesn't get it done here and Frazier would be up next, do you pinch hit Toro? Damn it. Trivial pop-up. Oh, Cal's still in. Okay. I mean, I'm not against it. Mitch is still struggle busting a little bit, man. All right, Frazier. Cal will be running on contact. Oh, holy, sh he did it, he did it, wow, Frazier, coming alive right at the end of the year. Yeah. All right. Um, we're just not a very good team, I guess. Um, I believed in this team after the Stanford game. I thought the offense was so good that they would automatically kind of by default be a top team in the Pac-12. And no, as it turns out, you still have to play some defense. You still have to be able to stop somebody. And we can't do those things. We we have no defense. 38 points against Arizona State. Not a good offense. Not an offense that is putting the fear of God into anybody. Frank Darcy, thank you for the uh, membership. Uh, and yet, and yet, despite that. Oh, God. Why does it choose now to start triggering the member message over and over and over and over again? Why? Why, 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 why? These are renewals. They must all happen at like 5 p.m. But the odds of this are astronomical that this would happen right now. All right, we need to get three more outs. Okay. All right. Uh... We're just not a very good team, I guess. That's really all that can be said about it at the end of the day. After that Stanford game, I believed in this team. I thought that we were headed in the right direction. We still are. But I believe this team had immediately gone from terrible to really good. And uh, no, there, there's a, 
step in between terrible and very good that they are on right now. And at the end of the day, you still have to play defense. I looked at our offense through the first uh, four games, and I thought, we're so good on offense, the defense doesn't even need to do anything. We can still win most of our games. No. As it turns out, you do have to stop somebody at some point, and we can't. We, we can't do it. And honestly, I, I, I even though I can't blame them for this game, the, the offense didn't exactly do themselves a ton of favors either. Um... They uh, they had the uh, miss the bad snap at the end of the game, ruining an opportunity to at least tie it, send it to overtime, or maybe win with a two point conversion. Uh, the the pick six was fluky. I'm not going to put that on anybody. That ball just bounces up into the air like that off somebody's helmet. That's a fluke. I, I don't really care about that. But um, man, you, you had a couple punts in this game, and this was one of those college football games where. You just have to score every time you get the ball. You can't punt. You can't miss out on opportunities, ever. So, on some level, yeah, the offense bears a little bit of the blame here, but still, man, thirty. you put up 38 points. You run the ball really well. It was probably the best we've run the ball all day. Uh, uh, all season, excuse me. And yet, uh, your defense just can't get off the field. Can't answer. They got off the field a couple times in that second half, and I was th hoping that would be enough. But at the end of the day, it shouldn't. You shouldn't have to look at the one or two stops you got in the whole game and go, "Yeah, I'm going to hang my hat completely on that." No, you you need to you need to give me something a little bit more than that, and that's what this team needs to work on going into this uh, uh, off season. I don't know where the team is going to be headed in terms of conference play. I don't know what's going on with that for sure. But at the end of the day, you can see that this team has taken some big steps in the right direction. I'm hoping that this turns into a great Huskies team at some point, but I made the mistake of believing that this was the year when they would actually do it. And no, not, not even close as it turns out. Arizona State is not a good team. Some of it is, yes, you suck on the road, and it sure would have been nice to get this game at home, but... You're going to play road games eventually. We got four home games to start the season. What else do you what else do you want? So I that can't be the excuse either. And at this point, I don't know. It seems like with the way this defense is, every game is a complete crapshoot. Every game could go one way or the other just completely dependent on who has the ball last or who gets the fluke turnover. That's basically what happened today if we're being honest. The game turned on the pick 6. The pick six decided the game, and that play was a total fluke. But here's the thing. You should not have your game come down to a fluke. You should not be having games against a team like Arizona State come down to a fluke. You need to actually make your own luck and get a few stops, and we can't do it right now. The secondary seems to be the particular problem, which makes sense because of who we lost. But the whole defense needs work. And, um, yeah, I, uh, I was wrong. I thought this team had turned the corner, but to me, they look more like the team that I thought they were going to be in the preseason now. The, the, the way they have gotten here is different than I expected, but the idea is the same. But hey, hey, it's okay. I got to watch the last inning of this Mariners game. Hopefully, we can put it away. So, I, I, I'm i good, man. I'm cool. We, we got way more exciting things going on right now than the Huskies. The Huskies will take care of themselves with their recruiting over the next couple years, this wasn't the year I was hoping it was going to be. This wasn't the year I started to believe it would be. But there are other things happening in Seattle sports right now. I'm going to go watch the end of this game. Short post-game video. I know I didn't say a whole lot, but there's nothing to say except the team just is not that good. They're great in some areas. They're exciting. They're fun to watch. They do a lot of good things. They show you that they can be a great team in the very near future. But right now, it's eh. All right. See you guys later. Bow down to Washington, but uh, disappointment. That was a terrible strike call, man. Some of these umps.
nothing else to say. And I started watching in like 96 or something. I think it was 96, maybe 97. Crawford, oh, right to, good contact, just hit it right to Bichette. Damn. Just needed to find a little bit of a hole there. Okay, um, Swanson, now would be a really bad time for you to have that regression to the mean that we talk about sometimes. We know it's coming, but please don't let it come here. Well, Motive, the football game is over. We're just hanging on for the end of the baseball game now. Although, honestly, I think I'm going to go upstairs and watch it with my parents. So I think I'm probably going to go ahead and kill the stream in a minute. I want to see these last three outs upstairs on the bigger TV. It's Kirby. No, Motive, we did not. Uh, young boy, I think we're going to pick in the top five at this point. I think we're going to pick in the top five. I really do. All right, guys. Thanks for coming out and hanging out with me. Huskies couldn't get it done, but another Seattle sports team may be getting it done. I'm going to go watch. See you guys later tonight on Twitch, probably. Go Hawks, bow down to Washington, 